welcome! <laughs> Hi, my name is Becca and I make videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and why I love Jesus. If you like any of those things, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel now, watch this video, and then check out the rest later. I feel like there's a lot of good videos, videos? <laughs> videos on my channel at this point, and they're worth checking out. So yeah, do it. Um, today I am talking actually about weight loss, which is a topic. <laughs> um, yeah, so some of you may know if you watch my videos or may even like have seen, um, but I have definitely been on like a weight loss and like health journey over the past like year and a half, I would say. Well, like really like I got my health in check and my weight in check as of December, but I've kind of been on this health weight journey since about last December. So yeah, about a year and a half. Um, so if you don't really know the backstory about a year and a half ago, so like last, not this past fall, but the one previous, I started getting really sick. Um, I had like really bad rashes all over my body, which we thought was eczema because I've always had eczema, um, but it was everywhere. And wherever there was the eczema, I was really, really swollen. Um, so it was on my face really badly, on my hands, my arms, and then it just kind of spread through my whole body. Um, we couldn't really figure out what it was. I'd gone to like several different doctor's appointments. So finally they decided they thought it was autoimmune. Um, so they treated it as an autoimmune disorder. And when they did that, it did go away. Things got better. The swelling would go down. Um, the rashes would be less, but it didn't really solve solve the issue. So I'd kind of been on and off these different autoimmune drugs for a little while. And then this past December, I, I was like having a flare up again and decided to go see an allergist instead. Cause my mom was saying that when I was younger, I had really horrific eczema, kind of similar to what was going on now. Like it was just all over my whole body and that she had taken me to an allergist who realized it was like a food thing that was causing all the issues as opposed to um, something autoimmune or something like that. So I went to the allergist and through that did like a 21 elimination diet, which is really what jump-started my weight loss and helped kind of get it going. So that is kind of what happened. <laughs> That's kind of what guaranteed a lot of the weight loss. At the same time, I had been training for a marathon, a tough rock, which is like a marathon with weight. Um, and then also had really like gotten to love going to the gym. So those are kind of all the different factors. Um, the other big thing that happened was that when, after doing this elimination diet, we realized that I have a really serious gluten allergy, which like feels like duh. I feel like nowadays everyone's like, yeah, of course, like gluten's so bad for you. But I didn't really realize how bad the allergy was until um, I hadn't been eating it for like a whole month and then accidentally like ate something with gluten in it and immediately like swelled up, like rashes everywhere. It was crazy. Um, and then when we did testing, we kind of confirmed that like, oh yeah, you're definitely allergic to this. So cutting out gluten has really been a big thing. And I know that's like so controversial. Like I never wanted to be the person that was like, I'm gluten free. And even still, I really struggle with like saying that or expressing that like at restaurants and places being like, oh, I need to see a gluten-free men menu because I just feel like so, I don't know. Like, I just feel like people use it as like a weight loss thing and then like don't really stick to it. So like, it's not super serious. But like for me, like if I even have a little bit of something with like gluten or something that I'm not supposed to have, like I really like break out in a rash and like have to take Benadryl and like it's annoying. <laughs> um, so like it's something I really struggle with. So let me collect my thoughts <laughs> and get so talking about weight loss. So overall I have lost, well if I start from last December, which was like when I was at my heaviest and my most uncomfortable, I have lost 40 pounds since then, which is crazy. Um, I still can't believe that. If you go back and look at my videos from like January 2017, um, you can really see that was when I was at my heaviest. Um, and then from there, I kind of started losing the weight. Um, and a big factor of why I gained so much weight was because they kept putting me on prednisone, which is a steroid um, to help with like rashes, but they like kept putting me on it and it's really high dose and that makes you gain weight. Like that's one of the things that the drug does. So I gained a bunch of weight. <laughs> and also we weren't eating the best and like I was exercising, but if you're not eating well, the exercise doesn't really count. Um, so that's kind of why I was there. So overall, since then I've lost 40 pounds. Since December, when I did um, the elimination diet, I've lost 27 pounds. Um, so most of my weight loss did come when I started doing the elimination diet and then everything else that followed and learning that the gluten allergy. And I think a big part of it was like, so much of it was just like bloating and inflammation because I was eating stuff that I was allergic to. So that's kind of the big thing. Um, yeah, so, I would, it's tough because I've never really been a person who like thinks that crash dieting is like a good idea or whatever. Like you should definitely just eat to help your body. But I have to give credit to doing that 21 elimination diet because it jump started everything. It was really hard. Um, it was where you could only eat fruit, 
fruits, vegetables, chicken, fish, and potato. And that was it. Like nothing else. No added sugars, no dairy, no, yeah, like corn, like nothing. It was really, really strict. Um, but I have to, like, I dropped a lot of poundage in that time that I did that diet because it was such a strict diet. Um, the first four days were the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, no, not really. The tough ruck has been harder. But the first four was like some one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life was like getting through those four days of just like a total body change. Um, and then after that, so like post and too, the great thing about like doing that diet was I really just learned a lot about like food and what you should eat and like how your body reacts to food and like what you should be putting in your body and what you shouldn't and it really made me so aware of sugar and just like how much sugar is in things and like more than counting calories you should really be counting how many grams of sugar you're intaking because sugar is so bad for your body and I mean I still eat sugar like <laughs> I'm not over here like don't ever eat sugar because it's hard um but for those 21 days I didn't and I think that's like one of the biggest reasons and the other one was dairy I'm so thankful I'm not allergic to dairy because I love cheese <laughs> and milk um well like milk in things like coffee um yeah, so through that, I just learned a lot of, hey, this is good, and, like, this is what you should eat. And two, like, um, my dad had been paleo a couple years ago, and he did it for a while. He's kind of getting back into it as well. So it's kind of similar to the elimination diet where, like, you only eat things that, like, you can pick up and eat or, like, cook yourself. So, and through that, he had learned that, like, you need to have, like, fruits, vegetables, and protein at every meal to, like, kind of sustain weight loss and, like, help that to keep going. So I learned that as well. So now my body craves, like, fruits, vegetables, like, all those different things. So that was, like, a huge part of, like, how my weight loss got kick-started and how it helped to maintain it. So, I mean, if you have the motivation to and if you really want to, I do recommend trying something like an elimination or a whole 30 is very similar i think the whole 30 is a little more accessible as far as the information goes online so if you want to try it i would definitely suggest doing the whole 30 um for those 30 days because it really does jump start everything and it just like cleans out your system and like gets you on the right track for like food that's good for you um and then the other thing is obviously like exercise which is so annoying it's so annoying being like diet and exercise but it's true it's what you eat and it's what like you do with your body. I'm very fortunate that I have a super physical job. Like I am on my feet all day. I'm moving around and walking around at work. Um, when we're doing floor changes and like visual stuff, I'm up on ladders. I'm hanging heavy pendants. I'm like getting a full workout at my job, which is really cool. Um, so if you don't have a physical job, then it's super important that you're like going to not necessarily going to the gym every day, but like having some kind of like physical activity, like walking, because I know for me, when I worked a sedentary job, like a desk job, like that also added to so much weight gain because I was just sitting all day, which is like so bad for you. Um, so I really learned like, yeah, my body needs like that physical activity to keep going. And then we were training for this rock, which is the marathon with weights. So we were training for that. So like, I really did have motivation for exercise, um, along with doing the like diet. The other thing too, is like, yeah, learning to get motivated to work out. Um, working out can sometimes, like, I was not, now I enjoy it. I was not a person who enjoyed working out, um, especially in college. And, like, right after college, I would kind of go, but I didn't really enjoy it. And what took getting to enjoy it was, like, honestly, like, good music and finding a workout that worked for me. Um, so I am super lucky. And I have a very good friend, Ben, from college, who um, was, like, this. he was, like, the swim team captain. I think he did swim coaching for a little while, too. And so he would, like, plan workouts for the team. So he really knew what he was doing. And he showed me kind of, like, a good system of a way to, like, workouts, like, starting with abs, going to cardio, and then doing weight training. And you either do upper body or lower body. And I honestly have stuck with that since he showed me, like, three years ago. So thanks, Ben. Shout out. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just find that really helpful. Um, um, I always start with like some kind of ab workout because I noticed that like if you start with abs, it then is engaging your core the rest of the workout. So when you do cardio, your core is engaged and then you're like weightlifting and everything like that. So for me, that has really worked like that system, I guess, of like working out. And then the other thing is just finding great music, which is like so weird, but like I have to have like great pumped up music. I... 10 out of 10 recommend if you have iTunes music, like if you subscribe to iTunes radio, um, there is a playlist. So if you just search workout, so if you're like in your, um, like iPhone music or I, whatever it's called, I don't know. I just search workout and then, um, hang on, it's loading. <laughs> um, and then if you like scroll, what is it? Let me see. Hang on. I think you go to like activities workout. So you go like you click the activities. Yes, it is in here. And then there's like playlists um, and you just kind of scroll through the playlist. You can go like either way. I scroll through until I get to the Kayla and 
her, I can't, I can never pronounce her name right. It's Kayla Itzins or It's Itzness. I don't know. She's like a famous Instagram um, workout person. And her playlist, the intense playlist, is amazing. Um, I'm going to try and play like a few seconds of a song just because like it's so fun and like a really upbeat just so you can kind of get like an idea. Um, but yeah, her whole playlist is like that, like really upbeat, like really pumping. So like that type of music like really gets me motivated to go to the gym. And when I don't feel like going to the gym, I like just put that music on and then I'm like, okay. Or I put on like high school dance music, like get low or like soldier boy. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I want to like work out or like do something physical, <laughs> which is really silly, but it works. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out that playlist, um, because it's amazing. Like it gets me so motivated and like keeps me motivated at the gym. Um, and then the other thing is too, is like, if you can like have a gym buddy, whether it's a friend or a sibling or someone you can go to the gym with, um, I have been going to the gym with my sister and then also my friend, Sarah Jane. And that just really helps to like keep me motivated. Cause it's fun. Even if you're not doing the same workout the whole time, or you're not chatting together the whole time, it's so helpful to like, just have someone else there. As like a motivating factor like when someone asks you like hey you want to go to the gym it's much easier to be like yes as opposed to like if no one asks you to just be like oh, i'm not gonna go but if someone brings it up you're like yeah sure why not <laughs> um so that has really helped as well and the other thing too is like once you start seeing results it keeps you motivated as well and you just have to like give yourself time to like see results so that's kind of like how I lost the weight and kind of like my weight loss journey as of now and I'm still continuing on that like I would still like love to lose a little more weight like I would love to have a flatter tummy like not gonna lie <laughs> um yeah and just be more fit but I notice like I just feel so much better now that I'm like into this like healthy lifestyle routine I'm just so much happier with like who I am and like how I feel um and like I don't know I wouldn't say lucky but like it was super helpful that I was like diagnosed with the gluten allergy because I can't cheat like if I do I pay the price and not pay the price in weight but pay the price in like an allergic reaction like the other day we went to an Italian restaurant and even though I got a salad I think there was some kind of cross-contamination because like a few bites into my salad my whole mouth was like broken out and like a rash and it was red and swollen it was so uncomfortable and I'm like what the heck so like I have no like I won't cheat so because of that it's like been kind of good because I'm not tempted to like eat breads or sweets and I feel like we are like gluten is in all the things that are like bad for you which is like pasta and like cookies and cakes and all those things that like have a lot of added sugars or like added things like yeah aren't just good for your body so I kind of liked out that it was an allergy because then like I don't feel tempted to cheat but also like I recognize that it's annoying and like sometimes I would rather not be gluten-free because sometimes I want to cheat and have something <laughs> but I can't um but yeah so and just like learning yeah like how your body responds to food and like now I'm so much more conscious of my sugar intake because I noticed like I literally went through sugar withdrawal when I went on that 21 elimination diet and that was scary like not from caffeine from sugar like I was so moody and sad and hungry and like it was horrible <laughs> like because of sugar um so I'm just now really conscious of how much sugar I'm intaking into my body and just like how much yeah just like what is in different things and I'm just a lot more conscious of eating a lot more vegetables and fruit and good proteins so it's been really good so it's, I mean, this is not rocket science. This is nothing new that I'm bringing you, but it's definitely diet and exercise. Um, but just hopefully these are some tips to kind of get you going. Um, but yeah, if you can, I would definitely recommend doing a whole 30 just to kickstart your weight loss. Um, if that's what you're interested in or like kickstart your healthy lifestyle. Um, and then yeah, like signing up for a gym or just doing physical activity, but like getting a good playlist or something that keeps you motivated because that is so super helpful. Um, and that's kind of what helps me, but I hope you enjoyed this video and found anything helpful. If you have any comments or questions or just need like encouragement in it, let me know because encouragement goes a really long way in a lot of different things. So yeah, that's, that's my update so far. Um, hopefully I'll have another update soon. Maybe I should do like a full body shot so you can see how good I'm looking. <laughs> I do feel really good about myself, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of kind of how it all happened. But um, be sure to give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Um, and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Um, jump. Bye. Oh no, Punjabi. This one is called Punjabi and it speeds up as the song goes along. So by the end you're like sprinting on the treadmill and it's awesome. Love you. I really do. And yeah, I'm just 
so passionate and excited about this YouTube channel and I really love if you, not if, when you subscribe. I really love it because it just, yeah. I'm so passionate about this and I get so much joy out of doing this and it's such a hobby. Like I have a work and job, but like this is my hobby and this is what I love to do. So yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.